the Maine Republican Party plans to discuss and consider censoring Senator Susan Collins, Republican of Maine, over her vote to convict former President Trump during the Senate impeachment trial. County Republican chairs are scheduled to meet on Monday to deliberate on how to respond to Collins' Saturday vote to side with Democrats and six other Republicans to convict the former president, according to local news reports. Maine Republican Party Executive Director Jason Savage confirmed to News Center Maine that county Republican chairs would meet Monday, but said any comment will wait until after matters are discussed by the county chairs. A vote from the state GOP could come before the end of February. Helen Tutwiller, the chair of the Kennebec County Republican Committee, told News Center Maine that she knows a lot of people are asking the GOP to do something, adding whatever, what exactly that is, I'm not sure. <sighs> God, I, I, I'm so disgusted with people. So I did a video, I haven't put it up yet, about... Well, I might have put up, I had my upload this, but I did a video where I was talking about the impeachment and the seven Republicans that voted the way the Democrats would like them to vote. Um, and how, with Collins and Murkowski among those two, it seemed as if this was part of a just continuous running gag of them doing things that Democrats want and never getting any credit for it. And I gotta tell you, it it it's so sad to watch to remember the election cycle last year, right? Oh man, Collins is not a moderate. She's just as crazy as the rest of the Republicans. Oh, she voted uh, more times with us than any member of her party. <laughs> you know, it's like, uh, they, they really just want people to be like the Borg from Star Trek. Everyone has to vote the same way. You can never have any disagreements that are um, just, allowed whatsoever and I want to point this out as we continue because um there are some benefits to being a moderate so Maine was the only state during this last presidential cycle to elect a senator of a different party than the winner of the presidential election because Collins outperformed Trump uh who lost the state to Biden which is really significant because it means that a lot of Democrats, or a lot of people who voted for the Democrats on the national ticket voted for Collins as their senator, the Republican incumbent. And when I see something like that, it, it's really because this whole thing of voting and censoring various politicians that don't support Trump on the in matter of the impeachment is not new. But as far as I'm aware, Collins is the only one who's in a state that went for Biden that is actually doing this. <laughs> so it's like the you know, and I'm hearing about how oh there are a lot of people who are upset with her. It's like, well, if they are, then where the hell were they when Trump needed them in May to win the to win re election? I, I just think this this whole thing is sad. It's it's sad and it's another indicator of why uh there's there's just this weird that's why I said the Republican Party is the Trump Party, because now, even when you do things that they want you to do or you seemingly are liked by uh, members of your party, and you saw us with Liz Cheney, you never saw any of the Republicans try to censor her before the impeachment, but after the impeachment, now she's one of the villains of their party. Um, and all of this is mainly about not following dear leader to you know such an extreme that you can't see whatever's wrong with them. Or I guess maybe she should be like McConnell uh, and say, oh, this is bad. And, you know, this is another thing that really rem I remember. During the first impeachment trial, Collins was made fun of for saying that she believed Trump had learned his lesson for basically talking about how these types of things were wrong, but then still voting to acquit him. And now the exact same thing is happening with McConnell. The exact same thing is happening with pretty much every single goddamn Republican senator except for seven of them. And no one is, you know, none of these Republicans are noticing that, that they're all coming out and yeah, they're voting to, you know, acquit him, but they're still condemning him, uh, which is the, the polar opposite of their vote. But no one is pointing that as being hypocritical. So Collins gets in trouble when she supposedly uh, does not vote in a principled manner. And then she also gets in trouble if she votes in a principled manner. So either way, she's screwed.